should turn that off too. Yeah, so we go. I know you've been in here earlier. I'm just saying hi again. So the question is whether to start a new game in an existing world or create a new world. In the current world... Kinda, I kind of want to save it for later. I kind of want to do a really young world, like five years. Which will end up meaning we don't have a lot of other civilizations that will visit, but we potentially have more big things coming and visiting. Like Forgotten Beasts and Mega Beasts and such. Fewer necromancers, fewer weird creatures. Yeah. Alright, new world it is, everybody. Uh, we're just going to do five years and very high number of beasts. We'll do natural savagery at that, and we'll just do rare metals as usual. Alright, let's go! Not familiar with Dwarf Fortress, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Oh, we're done. In one, the dwarf Thob Squeeze Mountain became the king of the uncommon ropes. continents. So this this is joinable like you could make forts to join those. We have city bins and long post up here so that's a dwarf sieve. We have pulley clinched up here which is probably a separate one. Tombs marked down here. Looks like three, three separate sieves. I don't see any volcanoes. Some joyous wilds up there. Very large, terrifying swamp. Tamed wilds next to it. I'm not saying that's where we're going, but you know. Can the rest of the world really interact with you if you make a bridge between two lands? Um, so it's not so much that the rest of the world can interact with you, but you can get to the rest of the world. It's like this is far enough away that I doubt anybody would use it, and it would require like three separate embarks, right? So I'd have to have one here, one here, and one here to just connect them. And what you could do, like if you don't know this, uh, what you can do is just embark a fortress there, immediately just like embark and then um, and then retire it, and that will count as a bridge. Like you don't actually need to make a bridge. But yeah, you could totally do that. All right. Um, I mean, I don't know if this is a good world or not, but we'll give it a try. What do we got in Legends? We are currently in the Age of Myth. The Paper of Rubbing is a Dwarven Sieve. It looks like Feb is the Queen. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't actually need to make the uh, the bridge itself. Yeah. All right. So Kib is now the Baron 
of the paper of rubbing. <laughs> the paper of rubbing. <laughs> the pure doors is a dwarven group. Ooh, the Hydra Ivy. Has attacked, okay. Building a bridge is cool. I, I will agree with that. The Kingdom of Dresses is a human sieve. Not a whole lot going on over there. Lean Fellowship is a human group. Mysterious Leopard is a Elven Sieve. The Hurricane of Magicians is an Elven Group. I want to make sure that the uh, the the captions capture this right. This is P E E M I S, Pemis. Yeah, I knew we would get that wrong. Cobalt Civilization, of course. And apparently they've been annoyed by Nugulu. Nugulo is light saffron, the perfect, which is a cyclops. Uh, Ceridlimus is another kobold group. All right. Also upset by the uh, cyclops. We have an Etten. Ooh, Great Demon Odon is the master of the cruelty of nadirs, which is a goblin sieve. I didn't even realize we were in ads. I apologize, but you know, we're just just looking at some sieves at the moment. Goblin group. Hello. Dive of machines is a elven group. Another elven group. So I don't really have a plan for this fort. Like I haven't really thought about it too much. So I'm just kind of going through this looking for some inspiration all right so the walls of distance is another dwarven sieve the queen is domas city lights we have a couple of baronesses Ooh. in the early autumn of four the rock of bosom wandered fishes the esteemed routed the infamous wall of the walls of distance and destroyed earthen floor Muslim was associated with hunting the wind in the sky. <laughs> in the early spring of one, a prepared porcupine lung was stolen from cuddled present by Bussum during the rampage of the rock. Bussum wandered fishes the esteemed in cuddled present. Uh, two notable kills, 15 other kills, two named dwarves and mostly other dwarves, a couple of other animals. The Dell of Snarls is its lair, okay. Earthen Floor, the Walls of Distance. Metal of Sanctuaries is a dwarven group. Empire of Omen. Fellowship of Cremating. Kobold Civ. You don't often see a troglodyte become an enemy of a faction. In fact, you don't often see a troglodyte become named, <laughs> but okay. Notably, this troglodyte has fought, what, one, two, three, four, five different kobolds and lost every single time. Like, it's it's tough to, to lose to a kobold, but to lose to five different kobolds, that's, that's, that's talent.
another kobold group. All right. Yeah, I want to. I want to fight against this, this kobold or this uh, troglodyte rather. Oh, that's not the one. What's their name? You wary San search fancied, huh? The Ticks of Complexity is a goblin group. Hey, priest up. The Equal Horrors. Goblin Bandit Gang? Hmm. All right. Uh, historical figures. We have a Bronze Colossus, a rock, a dragon. We have a dragon, people. Coves tax brands, the torrid silvers of glowing, associated with wealth and fire. In the mid-autumn of one, a bluefin tuna bone scepter was stolen from Lola apples by Covest. Struck down a bunch of elves. In the early autumn of two, the elf Athe Blossom Temple's tongue was torn off by Covest. And then Athe was struck down in lung fur. Five notable kills. Twenty-six other kills. Hey, do you do you all wanna see if we can settle near where a dragon lives? I think that would be a fabulous way to die. Lung fur, huh? I want to look at where Lungfur is. Or was, I guess, is the appropriate way to put it, since it was destroyed. All right, that's that's my quest. Let's go find a dragon. I mean, there were other dragons, right? Uh, yeah, so there's Parched Guilt, the Treasury of Fire, um, Ustra, Vault Flicker, the Jade, Mistrum, Parched Flickered. Oh, we have dragons galore. Oh, this is going to be so good. We're, we're going to die, people. <laughs> Hey, maybe this time I'll actually develop some defenses. But I want to be serious. If if we get the opportunity to capture a dragon, I am going to try to capture a dragon. And I will sacrifice all my dwarves to do it. I cannot hear the music at all. So, we want to settle wherever Lungfur was, or near. Skip tutorial. Alright, where are our sieves? We have the paper of rubbing, the walls of distance, the uncommon ropes, and the wire of communion. You're just waiting for that moment where the troglodyte hero will appear and challenge a dragon? Yeah. Yeah, that should be good. All right, so that's the paper of rubbing. That's the walls of distance. That's... Oh, okay. Paper rubbing and uncommon ropes are really close. The wire of commotion is way down here. All right, so let's look... A, we, we might pick a different sieve in a minute. I, I want to look where elven sieves are. Ooh, well, that was quick. There's lung fur. No metal here at all. That's that's perfect. <laughs> so we could be a part of this dwarven sieve pretty easily. Pretty easily, but there's no metal over here. Oh, silver, copper, tin, lead. Thank you. 
I don't think I actually care about the surface that much. I kind of want to build underneath anyways. So if it's mostly flat and featureless, that's that's okay. We're going to find our 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 uh, beauty within the ground. So I'm thinking like do we want ocean at all? The Oceans of Strength? I mean, with a name like Oceans of Strength, I kind of feel like I do. The Feral Hills. I mean, it's not going to be like anything special as far as the overland here goes. But I, I can see this working. I suppose it does matter to me what kind of uh, animals we have, too. Alright. Um, everybody remember where we were. I want the paper of rubbing. Five sites, 260 population. The queen is Feb Helmwald. So do we want ocean or not? That's the question. Do we want to just be on the plains? I think that's fine. We don't need any ocean. We can do something across the ocean, though. Make a little bridge here. Yeah. Then I'd be tempted to make it above ground and then stuff. It's going to be calm surroundings, so we're kind of relying on finding a dragon coming by, but, you know, that's the goal. All right, let's give this one a try. You have selected an area with salt water. It might be very difficult to survive here. You have selected an area with a light aquifer. Your water might need to be pumped out or carried away. Eh, that's okay. Uh, prepare carefully, please. And yeah, the tea's gone. All right, animals. First things first. Anything interesting? That's a negative, Ghost Rider. Fine. What do we want for animals? Anything? I mean, we need some tasty treats if we want a dragon to come, right? So let's make sure we have some tasty treats for them. Yeah, so we'll bring a couple of alpaca. And a guard goose. Requisite goose. All right. Um, first off, I don't want a step ladder. I would rather have a second wheelbarrow. Does everybody remember what sieve we're in? The rope of something? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I think I can actually see it. The paper of rubbing, that's what it is, okay. <clears throat> the paper of rubbing. And the goal is to get burned by a dragon. So, fortress name. Um, something with dragon. Dragon, dragon stakes? Dragon, 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 Dragon Abbey, 
Dragon Age? Dragon Age. Someone should make a game called that. All right, Dragon Age. Uh, Mamgo Zanam. Uh, the group name. Uh, I actually like the the of quests here, but instead of the spear, the spear of quests. The Tooth of Quests. The Breath of Quests. Going back to the dragon breathing on us and we're going to die. All right, group symbol. Uh, does anybody remember the name of that dragon? <laughs> Darn it. Um, Sadly, the order here is alphabetical, and the order in the other list is is uh, Jim. No, it wasn't Jim. Anu is a whispering horror. Anu is also a forgotten beast. That's very confusing. I didn't think I didn't think you could have two creatures with the same name. Hmm. If I type in dragon is it no, it's not gonna come up. Yeah, no, no, I know that. I could just have a dragon and not be specific about which one. Kovest. Found it! First try. Alright, uh, dwarf. Uh, a dwarf or dwarves? A dwarf. And. Um, oh, I wish I remembered the troglodyte's name. And you see, I have regrets. I wish I had written down the names of the... of the things. That's all right. We don't need to actually have the, the troglodyte hero. It would be fun, though. We could just have a troglodyte here. We don't know about the troglodyte yet. All right. Um, there's an image of Kovest tax brands, the torrid silvers of glowing, the dragon, a dwarf, and a troglodyte. The uh, dwarf is admiring Kovest. The... Uh, troglodyte is being flayed by Kovest. Kovest is triumphant. He's striking a triumphant pose. There you go. This is going to be called um, the angry mm. the angry breath. 
stole Gussel. There we go. All right. I like this. So we are the Fortress Dragon Age. Mag Mam Gozanam. Mam Gozanam. Uh, which is the Breath of Quest. Gatsol Iseth. In the paper of rubbing, uh, the image is Kovis tax brands. The torrid silvers are glowing. The dragon, a dwarf, and a troglodyte. The dwarf is admiring Kovest. The troglodyte is being flayed by Kovest, and Kovest is striking a triumphant pose. And that's called the Angry Breath. All right. Do we need anything else? Um, more drink. I don't know. We'll bring some wood. Bring some wood. Nah. We'll bring two pieces of cave sp spider silk cloth. There we go. All right. Strike the earth. Let's go. Oh, oops. I forgot to pick skills for my dwarves. <clears throat> a dwarven outpost. You have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidden wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Monom Luzad. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance, whether by belt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings, ere the dingoes get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here, at this place, Mangozanam, Dragon Age. Strike the Earth. So we have our alpaca, we have a couple of horses, and our goose. So first off, does anybody want a dwarf? I do have a dwarf redeem, but if you if you just want a dwarf, let me know. Uh, first off, fishing not allowed. Free stop. You're gonna have our future manager. All right. Do you want Cyril, Olin, Zulban, the expedition leader, Kogan? Vutok, Ezum, or Urist. Your name would be weird on a dwarf? That's okay. He's still welcome to have one. Vutok is calling your name? All right. Free stop. You shouldn't waste your life on revenge, he says. Uh, disdains tranquility, fact-oriented, values competition, recovers slowly, has a poor spatial sense, uh, and disdains artwork. He's interested only in facts in the real world. He generally finds himself quite hopeful about the future and tends to be a little tight with resources when working on projects. He has little interest in joking around. Very serious. Uh, he doesn't tend to hold on to grievances and is slow to trust others. He is somewhat fearful in the face of imminent danger, as all managers should be, and he prefers to present himself modestly, doesn't seek out excitement, and is conflicted by this since he feels intellectually that life should be more tumultuous. He doesn't try to get things done perfectly and sometimes acts with little determination and confidence. He doesn't focus on material goods. He likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. Uh, Personally, uh, he is greatly disturbed by quiet and a peaceful existence, sees competition as reasonably important, finds artwork boring, and doesn't really ver value merrymaking. Likes cryolite steel, uh, aquamarine, reindeer antler, the colored dark indigo, uh, high boots, statues, llamas for their wool. Well, sorry, we have alpaca, not llamas. And the sound of the luxurious embraces. When possible, he prefers to consume reindeer cheese and turnip wine. He absolutely detests flies, don't we all? What a fine dwarf. All right. Lost in. If you want a dwarf, just say so. I'll give you one. We have a 
lovely wagon made out of tower cap wood. Just gonna be looking around here for a little bit here. Plenty of trees. Let's zoom out a little bit. Got a little bit of elevation change here. And, and by a little, I mean very little. That's okay though. There's a couple of trees. We got some oaks, walnuts, birch. Alder, pear trees, all right, like I said, I don't think we're going to be spending much time on the surface here, but good to know what's about. No, if you want one, just, just tell me which dwarf you want. I'll give it free. I mean, the points don't matter anyways, right? Eurist? Alright. Eurist is now the Lost Inn. The Lost Inn gets so jealous sometimes. Disdains tradition, disdains loyalty. Not musical, poor intuition, sickly, disdains eloquence. Uh, he is grateful when others help him out and tries to return favors. He is trusting, often feels envious of others and tries to do things correctly each time. Often acts with compassion and thinks he is fairly important in the grand scheme of things. He isn't given to flights of fancy. Excuse me. Tries to keep his things orderly and can handle stress. He begins to talk more slowly when he's angry. He likes uh, working outdoors and uh, grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. Dreams of mastering a skill. Personally finds the fo following of tradition foolish and limiting. Views loyalty unfavorably. Finds eloquence and artful speech off-putting. Finds artwork boring and does not care about fairness. Does no one like art in this, in this fort? Hmm. Likes native platinum. Nice and cheap there. Uh, native platinum, lead, pink garnet, uh, clear glass, amber, sheep wool, platypus parchment, bucklers, floodgates, chains, and the sound of the adorable phrase. Who doesn't? It's adorable. Uh, when possible, he prefers to consume anchovy, gr giant two-humped camel cheese. That's kind of specific. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Uh, Longland beer and caco beans. And absolutely detests moon snails. What's it, what do you have against moon snails? Anyways, fine dwarf. Welcome to the fort. No other animals on the map at the moment. Alright, so I'm going to cut some trees down, but I'm going to cut them all the way over here. <laughs> this one becomes Mary will order so many floodgates. That's okay. Floodgates are fine. Uh, Alright, so we need a pasture for our animals. And I know we're in an ad, so I'll just do this slowly. Pasture here. I'm gonna just dig here. I'm gonna make a stockpile. For wood there. I really should just cut the wood nearby, right? Like, there's no real reason to cut the wood all the way over there, but... I just felt like doing it. 
That's all. Alright, welcome back, everybody. Unpause it, let it go. What are you doing? Fishing, of course. Alright, we're gonna follow Cyril as they start digging. Alright, we found our our first aquifer here. So here's the thing. I kind of want to just dig through it. Dig, 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 dig. And then eventually when we find stone, we'll quarry it and, and block it off. But in the meantime, we'll just let it drip down. Now that could mean that we'll end up kind of flooding the fort in a small way and maybe that's less than ideal but I like making bad decisions so we're going to start with this this time Cancel the one. Wow, do we only have one layer of that? Would be pretty amazing to only have one layer of uh, aquifer. That would be absolutely amazing. Tetrahedrite too. stop here for a minute and just like dig out a little bit kind of looks like I have two all right uh, workshop I want a carpenter Let's also actually make a stone worker. And we'll put a stockpile here for stone. Uh, we don't want metal ores though. I think we actually have two whale barrows, so we'll move both. Alright, so I'm going to just smooth all this. And then we'll dig out all this. I want rock blockos. Just do it on repeat for now. Did I really only bring one pick? That's so bad. <laughs> I should have definitely brought more than one pick. <laughs> oh, I brought two. Oh, I only have one person labeled as a miner. Alright, um... Olin, congratulations, you've been promoted.
Alright, so that solves that problem. I'm just gonna make some room here. I kind of want to send, like, I want to get uh, a military squad together and send them to Lungfur and just, like, explore it, because that's kind of the purpose of this fort. So I'll have to remember to do that at some point. Why are you making rock blocks if you're also a miner? Dude. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of other people that could be doing that. You need to be mining. That's your job now. This is your life now. drawing a pig. The pig's going to be walking along here. <laughs> Does anybody else find me funny? I don't know. As I like to do, I, I'm going to build a little reservoir here. I should make it a bigger reservoir actually. Yes. Let's make it big. I kind of like that fort where I just had like huge dugout caverns. I kind of want to do that again. Maybe we will. 
It's going to take some time. back up here we're gonna make a uh, floodgate let's just make like three of them actually uh, also let's get some hatch covers let's also make a mechanic So we'll make some beds. Make a craft dwarf shop. I'll just do all the things now. Uh, rock mechanisms. Pots. All right, I know I said I wasn't going to chop down the trees nearby, but I changed my mind. I changed my mind. And you can't do anything about it. Do, 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 do.